So unless you're new to the channel, well, I guess you should know that I used to be a Windows user for quite a long time, since the S XP Vista days. It originally started when my dad brought home a computer from work that ran XP, which I thought was pretty cool for that being my first computer, because first of all, it was a work computer, so it had like a Xeon processor in it. Yeah, that was pretty cool. But eventually, I got cursed with the problem of, well, no updates for anything, and because of that, certain things just would not run. So, I needed an upgrade, and eventually when my mom upgraded to her Windows 10 laptop, I got her old Windows 7 tower, which replaced the Xeon work computer that I used to use. But then something happened again, and it's the exact same problem. So, you'd be thinking, okay, well, just upgrade from 7 to 10, right? It's not that hard. Microsoft, you messed up big time. Why is Windows 10 so bad? I can't believe that you said you wanted to make Windows 10 the last version of Windows because this is bad and after six years of updates, it's still bad. I don't know why it is this bad, especially after being out this long. And after all these updates you force these computers to go through, it's still horrible and doesn't work. Why can't we just have a new version of Windows to replace this because Windows 10 is so bad? Oh wait. Did you just announce Windows 11? I thought Windows 10 was supposed to be the last one, but you know what, thank you! Yes, we can finally get away from Windows 10 that uh, 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 Oh. Oh my god, you idiots. So I'm just going to quickly talk about some basics of Windows 11 and then get into why I'm extremely disappointed with it. So the first part is Windows 11's unoriginal design. Um, well, the taskbar kind of looks a little similar to Apple's now that the icons have been moved to the center. I mean, come on, if we take a look at the general look of the new design, it looks a lot like a macOS knockoff. For example, all the icons are now centered, though you do have the option to send them back to the left, like where they should be on Windows. A new widgets panel. Hmm, where did they get that idea from? Glossy rounded corners to look more similar to Mac than Windows 7. Okay, the glass, it does look more like Windows 7, and I really like that, actually. That looks nice. I miss that design on Windows 7. But the general shape looks a lot more like a Mac, to be honest. Oh, and they added more tablet features, so that way you could get the iOS swipe style keyboard. Okay, well, I guess iOS doesn't have that. Android has that too, but point being, it's very unoriginal. It looks exactly like a Mac OS knockoff. And to be honest, knockoffs really don't make you look that good. You know why? It's because knockoffs are admitting that the product that you're knocking off is much better because you're copying them. So I guess Microsoft is just admitting that Mac OS is better. They also touched on integration, better synchronization with Android phone as, wow, um, I'm not impressed because it doesn't seem like it's really changed much. Windows Store has Amazon Android apps. Yay. Honestly, mobile apps don't even run that well on a desktop. So why bother? Oh, and improved Xbox Game Pass. Think the I don't care because gaming is a big waste of time. Yeah, these updates, they're not exactly impressive. I don't know why I should be impressed. Okay, it's got better synchronization with Android phone, but I think they completely forgot that a lot of iPhone users also use Windows too. That used to be me, and that is the case with a lot of my family members. For example, one of my aunts is an iPhone user. She uses a Microsoft Surface, why? It's a terrible tablet. And a Microsoft Surface Book, I think? It's a, it's a laptop with a detachable screen. Point is, she's an iPhone user that uses Windows as her desktop operating system. So, no integration there. For some reason, they keep forgetting that iPhones are still the best selling smartphones in the world. So yeah, uh, basically a new design, which there are some parts I do like, but it's really just a knockoff. And then the integration, I honestly do not care because it's with Android only. The biggest issue I have is the last bit. First of all, this is still based off of Windows 10. Most of the code is still based off of Windows 10. 
The main thing I was hoping for from this update was to get away from Windows 10, but it's still based on it? Oh my god. More on that later. We also gain x86 to ARM translation for ARM hardware, which it still isn't exactly that great compared to Apple's Rosetta 2 because, I mean, Apple knows this thing called optimization. And then we have the hardware support, or lack thereof, because, wow, Windows 11 is demanding quite a cutoff. Seventh gen cutoff? Well, I guess that means that Windows 7 Tower isn't ever going to get Windows 11. Oh, wait. My mom's laptop isn't going to get Windows 11. Jeez, Microsoft, what the heck are you doing? So, yeah, I'm not impressed with Windows 11. And it's primarily because it's basically a reskin version of Windows 10 with a few added features. So, the biggest disappointment is just the fact it's based on Windows 10. But why do I say Windows 10 is that bad? I mean, Marquez Brownlee's mentioned this cycle. We had XP, good. Vista, bad. 7, good. 8, bad. He said 10 was good, which is a real big no-no, because -no, no, it was not good, it is not good, and it still isn't good. I don't know why you people think it's good, because it isn't. And am I just being an Apple sheep here because, well, I'm using a Mac now, a Mac OS? No! I actually bought a Mac because of Windows 10. I left Windows 10 because it was that bad. What was so bad about it? Well, gee, um, why is it, I don't know, the single most buggiest, crashiest, unstable, unreliable, every bad adjective you can throw at it? I don't understand. It's slow. On newer hardware, I run a stream for my church. We stream the mass. So, what computer do we use? I tried to get a Mac. I tried, I tried. But no, we have to use Windows 10 because that's what everyone's familiar with. So, of course, every week I have to go and put up with an operating system that's a pain to use. And, oh yeah, we've had our issues with it already. An update caused it to forget the camera. Adding that back was a real pain in the butt. We also, I don't know, just the network port decided, ah, let's just randomly quit right here and drive you nuts. I don't understand. Why? Why is Windows this bad? It's such a pain and frustration for me to use. I can't tolerate it. I have been putting up with it for about three years and then I finally said, I had it. It is so bad. I'm leaving Windows. And that's when I actually discovered the Mac. I didn't discover the Mac until I decided I was going to leave Windows. So the reason why I'm using Mac OS has nothing to do with me being an Apple sheep. The reason is because I needed something that actually works. And somehow Microsoft just messed up. They started with AIDS, that was bad. And then it just progressively got worse. Windows 10, is just not functional it doesn't work like it should and because of that well if i can't get anything done with it then i'm not gonna get it i'm not gonna buy stuff that doesn't work i'm gonna buy stuff that does and clearly it's a mac that works and windows that doesn't so bye bye windows and because windows 11 is still based off of windows 10 this horrible operating system I'm sorry. Microsoft, I don't know what the heck you're doing, but you're making a big mistake and you're just making, you're just continuing to make big mistakes. You're digging yourself in such a deep hole. It's as if you're asking me to leave. It's like you're begging me to stop using you. It's begging me never to come back. So yeah, Windows 11, I'm not impressed and I'm really upset. Microsoft, what is wrong with you? All right, thanks for listening to this rant. And you know what? The reason why I didn't dive deep into all of my negative experiences with Windows 10 is because I wanted this video to be about Windows 11, but I guess, yeah, it kind of shifted more to my hate towards Windows 10. So if you want to learn more about my bad experiences with Windows 10, leave a comment down below 
and I'll make a video explaining why Windows 10 is so bad. But in this video, I'm just trying to explain why Windows 11 is depressing, and it's because it's basically Windows 10 reskin. So, that's it. Thank you for watching. My name is Alpha Wolf, Random Alpha, signing out.